Hi, this is Zase. Today I would like to share how to construct a historiogram and obtain the moving average and the seasonal variations for a set of time series data using SPSS. If let say these are the quarterly sales recorded over a five years period starting from 2012. So what we have to do here is first go to data, then define days. Since this is quarterly, so we look for years quarters starting from 2012 and first quarter then okay then the dates already assigned if let's say we want to construct historic gram then we go to analyze forecasting sequence charts then we drag in the variable that we want quarterly sales then the date as a times asset paper Okay, then the historiogram already constructed. So if let's say we want to obtain the moving average, then we go to transform, create time series. Then we drag in the variable that we want. Okay, after that, we check for the function. What we want is moving average. Okay, span here is the number of seasons that we have. Since this is quarterly, so means that one year we have four quarters. Then change. Make sure MA sales the variable and then the span four. Then OK. Then the moving average already obtained. If let's say we want a historic brand to have both the original sales value and the moving average, so what we can do here is go to analyze. Forecasting, choose also sequence charts. Under the variable here, we just add moving average, then OK. So the two charts will be combined into one. If let's say we want to obtain the seasonal variation, also go to analyze, look for forecasting, seasonal decomposition. Then under variable here, we just drag in the variable that we have. Then for the model type here, we have two options. One is multiplicative and one is additive. To decide which one better, we can refer to the time series chart. If let's say we join up all the P and all the trough and we see two parallel lines, then additive model is better. Otherwise, if let's say we see converging or diverging there should be a multiplicative model and based on the time series graph here we can roughly see a uh, two parallel lines then we choose additive model then okay okay then this other seasonal variations okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you